Hello and welcome to Wargaming Heart, the YouTube channel that aims to improve your gaming skills. For more content just like this, make sure you subscribe to the channel and click the bell to be the first person notified when the new video is released. In this film I will show you the World of Warplanes and Battle Replay for premium plane Kawasaki Ki-88 which ended exceptionally better than usual for me. Before we'll go into the gameplay, I would like to talk briefly about a few things which normally you will not be able to see while watching the battle replay. Those will be the tactics and the minimap. Let's pause for a moment to talk about this. If you are not interested in that, then please forward to the time currently displayed on the screen. During watching of the gameplay replays, you will not be able to see how someone actually was planning the battle. So for me, before I actually start the battle, I had a quick look and was like, okay, what is my matchmaking? How the how the map look like? How many points we have to uh, we have to control and capture in order to uh, to win the game, win the battle? So for this particular setup, uh, looking for the my team, uh, looking for the opponent's team, and the map, I have uh, I was thinking straight away, okay, what I'm playing? I'm playing the the fighter plane, okay, uh, and I'll come back to that point in a minute. So, my, as a fighter plane, I have to help with capturing the, the bases and helping to control them. So, I've chosen to go to the tep, top left corner, uh, help to capture that base, and then go to the middle. What in this particular map the middle point or the middle base is giving you is the airfield. The airfield is allowing any of your team members to uh, respawn in this location, saving this kind of distance to rejoin the game. Uh, and, and help uh, taking over or defending other points on the map much faster than if they would just respawn at a normal location. The same tactics on I think exactly the same map I was trying to demonstrate and show you and explain on my previous video uh, when flying PZL P38 Wilk, Polish tier 3 premium plane. I think I wasn't clear enough with my explanation during that video which was picked up by one of the viewers. Later on, uh, we had a conversation on the World of Warplanes Discord, where I have explained in more details what I meant, and he has shared his tactics with me, which also he has kindly allowed me to share it with you during the, this video. Uh, please see it on the screen now. As you can see, Corsair's tactics is very different to mine, at least the one that I'm currently advising you for this gameplay. Uh, where I might surprise you uh, a bit saying that I also agree with. Yes, he's right. Now you will ask me, so why am I sharing you my tactics? Uh, well, you see, there is no perfect tactics and the one I am sharing with you has helped me many times before to achieve the good game results, so it worked for me. You can observe it during this gameplay, uh, replay and decide if it will also work for you. What you have to remember is a few things. What plane are you flying? Uh, is it attack plane? Is it bomber? Is it heavy fighter or fighter? You're, they have a different roles and the tactics uh, for the, every gameplay you would play with uh, any different plane has to be tailored for it. So, uh, and also the, one of the other most important things is you have to keep on observing your minimap to see what uh, is your team doing and what is your opponent team doing and support account accordingly. So as you can see, both of our tactics, or, or both what the Corsair and myself are saying, is, is still valid. Everything also depends on what is currently happening during your gameplay. So you have to be vigilant to what is happening around you during the gameplay. That also brings us very nicely to why observing minimap is so important during the game, which uh, you will not be able to see clearly when just watching the gameplay replay. Please write in the comments below if that helped you uh, to have a better games, or if you want, please share tactics you play so other players can read it and uh, try it themselves. Okay, so let's get back to our gameplay replay. As I mentioned, I would like to help the team to take this uh, this base and then move to the center. So uh, let's see how many planes uh, we can take down in here. Um, few words about the, the, the how good cannons this plane actually has. There is three autocannons, two 
20 millimeter ones and uh, one 37 millimeter ones. The 37 millimeter ones uh, has got pretty decent damage. Uh, unfortunately, is a very very short short range. So if you if you look for the I think this guy's uh, AFK. If you look at it from uh, comparing to Russian ones, and the Russians has got much further uh, firing range distance, uh, 900 in compared to this one, which is uh, 520. So of course this is your predominantly main cannon, 37 is giving you the most damage. So you have to just come to around 500 meters. I would recommend to just be between 500 to 400 before you will start firing all, all of your cannons. Uh, otherwise, yeah, you will have some damage done by your 20 mm cannons, but if you will do that too early, then you will overheat your 37 mm cannon too early without, and, and you will lose the possibility of creating uh, so much damage as you would if you would actually just wait for a few more seconds. So I think this plane will be better to chase other planes, so possibly I'll give him a little bit of boost once I'll achieve the specialist level. Uh, so I can enhance my, enhan enhance my equipment, so maybe we'll be able to more, be more faster and chase other planes to close that distance early, because of course I cannot uh, rely on a distance firing like you would in uh, with Russian multi-role fighters. So, let's help to take this uh, middle base airport with the rest of the team. I believe you already noticed how good those cannons are when used correctly. So, of course, just coming up close enough, uh, closing up the distance with the uh, with the opponent, and then firing all of them, uh, especially 37 mil. If it will hit, look, 160 damage per per hit on on the on this 37 millimeter auto cannon. How I got this plane? Well, I was I was lucky actually on the other day. You know, when you're fulfilling all of the uh, daily missions and you're just getting the box at the end of the week. Well, in one of those boxes, I got this plane, which was <laughs> wow, nice nice present. Thank you very much, World of World of Warplanes. And uh, as I mentioned, initially I didn't like this plane. Uh, it took me a while to get used to and change my uh, game style with just at, was just basically for this plane only. Usually I'm playing a bit differently. Uh, for this one I had to change a little bit of my game style, which, well, looks like it's it's paying off. If you will be thinking to purchase this plane for uh, boosting or helping to train your crew or getting the credits, um, I think it's not that bad. Per battle, on average, you'll get between 80,000 to 100,000 credits, depends how good your battle was. And of course, as with the premium plane, you will be able to cr train your crew faster. So, is it a good one? Yeah, I, th I, I think it's not that bad. It definitely helped me uh, a little bit. Although, I'm not playing that much, because I'm still not on my specialist, uh, specialist level. Anyway, we managed to take the uh, take the airport, so let's try to keep on defending it as the other team is keep on coming. So look at the mini map at the moment. There is three, four of us from the team, and of course, uh, as we have this sector, there is also five defensive planes. So there's like nine of us against three other opponent planes that are coming in. You can easily guess the result of what is going to happen with these three planes that are coming and trying to take this middle base airport. In my ad advice and recommendation, if I'll be playing now in the red team, uh, it's basically following what Corsair mentioned earlier on. Just go to the side bases. Take the side bases and in that way you will disperse the team that sits in the middle and then when there will be less planes in the middle from, uh, from the op op opposite team, then you can come back and take the middle. The, the red team should now not focus on the coming into the middle because there's like a single planes versus many, so they will be out, outnumber like two to one uh, in regards of the, the planes, uh, defensive planes versus attackers. Okay, let's uh, let's focus on the plane. So, do I like it? Mm, yes, I do. Initially, I have to say I, I really was struggling to sort of like just find out my way uh, around it. But for the last few games, I think I found the way, and uh, as I mentioned to you, it it really it really uh, I'm starting really liking it to be honest. 
Oh, there you go. How come this hurricane didn't see me? Okay, let let's get on this hurricane. So, um, yeah, three uh, three auto cannons, two twenty millimeters and one thirty-seven millimeters, are giving a relatively good punch. It's still uh, quite maneuverable plane. It's not as good as uh, zero planes, but still not that bad. Uh, I'm really, really looking forward to actually find, finally getting to specialist level so I can fit uh, more enhanced modules and uh, we'll see what this plane will be able to do it then. Because you know what, once, once, you, once uh, we'll get back to the hangar at the end of the game, you will see I'm still flying not on the fully uh, specialized level of the plane. So um, I think I have used my zero plane fighter pilot, I think has got only two skills. And I have a very basic level of, of equipment, so yeah, uh, we'll we'll see, we'll see. I like it. Uh, I have to say, I like it. All right, uh, I believe we are just coming close to the end of the battle. As you can see, the ta the, the other team did the right thing. They start focusing on the other bases. Uh, oh, there's a yak is just trying to drag me into 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 his his team. So I would be like me versus four. Like, nah, let let's let's go back and. Uh, have a support of our team and let the other guys come uh, and have a one versus one, not one versus four, because that would be a really, really uh, disastrous for me. And there we go, attack plane. Let's see what we can do with the attack one. There we go. I think I start shooting a little bit too early, so let the let the auto cannons to to cool down, make a circle. And yeah, uh, the plane plane is handling really well. I just recently uh, greased up and uh, my joystick, so I'm still trying to get used to it a little bit more uh, in regards of the gameplay. So the plane is actually handling much better. It's just my joystick and it's too loose at the moment. I have to just tighten up and adjust it a little bit more. But apart from that, yeah, you, you can see the game is, is not that bad. Hurricane is trying to possibly have some a bit of revenge. I'm sorry mate. I am a bit more a bit more maneuverable than you are. Sorry. Okay, uh, and you see? The other uh, the opponent team just just, uh, just took the, the airport. And that's what they're supposed to do from the beginning. That's why they would have a, a higher chances of actually winning the game or have a bit more balance. So sometimes those decision making uh, you're you're taking throughout the battle uh, that is how. That is why I like this plane. So your decision making can impact the game result. And that is the end of this battle. Uh, thank you very much for watching the gameplay replay of a KI-88. I would say this is possibly one of the best battles I have so far. I'm still, uh, I still didn't achieve the, the, the specialist level. Usually I have those battles quite successful, similar to this one, maybe with less medals, grade 2 uh, badge, but usually the battles are quite good. Initially, I couldn't get uh, hang on, on this plane, but I would say gradually, once I just start getting better and better with it, uh, start feeling that and, and, and find this way, as I just showed you, just, just start shooting the planes on a closer distance, I become a little bit more successful. Alright, let's have a quick summer, let's have a look on a quick summer on, uh, in, uh, in the hangar. Okay, 18 planes down. I think that's quite good. Two more, and I would have the ace badge, ace medal. Uh, to add to collection of the rest of the medals I got from this battle. Um, I like it because all of the mission objectives you can see, all, all three of them has been fully uh, fully completed. I think it, it was quite good considering that I was not even on the full specialist uh, developed uh, plane. It's just relatively basic. Uh, as you can see, uh, my equipment is, is just uh, equipment added to the plane, it's not, not even enhanced. And uh, my pilot has got just like three skills, it, which is, I think, not that bad to achieve this uh, type of success in the game on flying this plane. Thank you very much for your time watching this video I made for you. Do not forget to like and subscribe, of course, to be informed about the next videos I'll be making for you and showing you another good examples of different planes and their battles and how, how did I achieve it. So, take care, guys. Bye-bye.